That's the one thing I love about bass fishing, you know, it is, they're such a, uh, a predatory fish. I love how hard they fight. What a great lake. Again, I'm throwing just a, uh, you know, deep diving crankbait. And that seems to be working. Boy, you're right. They're right on the rocks, man. Right up against the rocks. That big osprey got hit just a minute ago, too. I put on this little ghost minnow osprey. Oh, man. I think that'll work great. Nicely done. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, Gare, one of the unique things about this lake, we've caught them on jigs. You caught one on a crankbait. This is on a spinnerbait. We catch them on drop shotting. Um, the, the lake is, is unique. And that's exactly what we're doing today is rip and lip. Oh, he just threw it. Fish on, baby. There you go. There we go. Not bad. Little watermelon, Senko, dead sticking. Not bad. That's the smallest <laughs> one of the day. It's huge. <laughs> it's been a little bit slow, so I went to a bait that I know that, uh, you know, you can always catch fish on. And all I'm doing is just a watermelon Senko, dead stick and no weight, cast it out, let it sink to the bottom, and then I just slowly drag it and let it sit. And, it, and you know, the slower you move this bait, the less action, the le you just let it do its thing, you catch more fish with it. Oh yeah, nice job, man. Front hook too. Crawfish is a, is a pattern here that these fish like. And we had just a light little breeze blowing in. It's just breaking up the surface a little bit. So I thought I'd, uh, we're in some shallow water, a lot of cover. A lipless crankbait is a great bait. It'll bounce off of stuff, won't get hung up. It wakes them up. And uh, sometimes it's just something different. Skeeter has just released its new FX21 with the brand new Yamaha four stroke 250. Now this is a 4.6 liter big bore motor that is a game changer in all aspects. This motor is about 40 pounds lighter than the uh, previous HPDI series two. It also burns less fuel, has a faster hole shot, better top end speed, and uh, is going to change how people view four-stroke motors. You're talking about a 4.6 liter, 250 horsepower normally aspirated motor. And this is very, very exciting when you talk about the fishing industry and the boating industry. Skeeters also spent two years redesigning this boat specific for this motor. It's the first time that's ever been done. What they've done is they've redesigned their hull from the very bottom up to handle this kind of power. And this four stroke brings a broad range of power all the way from the bottom end to the top end. And that's very, very unique to bass boats. One thing you'll probably notice if you're a bass boat aficionado is that there's something missing from in here and it's the oil reservoir. That's one of the very unique things of a four stroke motor, no more oil. This burns less fuel, it's a faster top end, faster hole shot, and you don't have to mess with any oil anymore. Skeeter builds the best boat in the business you're talking about a boat that has the top speeds, the best handling, the best performance, and now industry-leading four-stroke technology that is lighter, faster, and more fuel efficient, low emissions than any four-stroke out in the industry. I can't wait to get a hold of one. We go fish on. Boy, he hit that hard, man. Oh, he's not a bad fish. He just whacked it. 